Hello, in this video we will understand about the tanning of the skin, the physiology of the tanning, how the tanning can occur. So let's begin to understand. Tanning is the process in which skin color dark for the protection against the UV light. So the UV radiation is two types, the sunlight, the UVA and UVB. UVA is not harmful as compared to the UVB. So the sunlight when fall on the skin during the tanning, that sun bath, which that will change the physiology of the skin, how it is possible. Let's here is the skin. The skin contain a uh, hair. So remember the hair is in the form of black color. Skin we can divide into three layers. And uh, here is the hair shaft. Hair shaft is also the uh, important role against the uh, UV radiation protection. And this is the melanocytes. These melanocytes are present in the uh, end of the epidermis, the dermis. And this basically is the uh, um, uh, 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 keratinocytes are present also. This is the epidermis and the dermis as well as hypodermis. Hypodermis contain a uh, adipose tissue, the adipocyte, the fat. It is also known as the subcutaneous layer, while the cutaneous layer is the epidermis and dermis. Anyhow, let's understand about the physiological, physiolog physiological changes due to the falling of the sun rays on the skin. When sunlight will be fall on the skin during the sun bath, so the first line of defense against the UV radiation, UVB light against due to the hair shaft. Hair shaft will absorb the light and not allow to enter into the skin. So that is why the darkening of the uh, density of the more hairs will protect the facial and the scalp, uh, facial and the head region. Uh, for the protection so the whole body sometimes covered with the hairs for the protection against the light so the first line of defense against UVB light is the hairs after the hairs for example the hairs will if hairs will not so uh, some radiation can also penetrate in the presence of the hairs whenever the absence of the hairs will expose more skin for the uh, tanning so the tanning will occur due to the melanocyte will produce the melanin so in this way here you can see the uv radiation will uh, come in, move inside so the uvb radiation will move more the uh, ultraviolet radiation blue color radiation will enter more and in this way the skin will irritate as a, a sensory neuron burning of skin sensation will lead to target to the hypothalamus and the median lobe of the pituitary gland remember when target to the median lobe of the pituitary gland or the hypothalamus to change the physiology in this way let's we will understand about the function so here is I am drawing the pituitary gland which that contain hypothalamus is the upper part and this is the uh, three lobes of the pituitary gland and this is the hypothalamus. This is the neurohypophysis the posterior pituitary gland while the median is a fused lobe is responsible for the production of melanophore stimulating hormone and adenohypophysis is the anterior. In this way it will be stimulated through hypothalamus to the uh, median lobe and to release the melanophore stimulating hormone. This melanophore stimulating hormone will target to the melanocyte of the skin. This melanocyte contain receptor is known as the melanophore stimulating hormone receptor. 
this milano 4 stimulating hormone receptor will uh, uh, increase uh, whenever the increase of the receptor will lead to more tanning and quick sometimes some people have less milano 4 stimulating hormone receptor some people have more so that is why the tanning uh, uh, variability is possible for person to person so in this way here is the melanophore stimulating hormone will stimulate to produce melanin the degranulation of the uh, melanin vesicle will be uh, deposit into the keratinocytes to form a keratin mature the dead skin filling with the melanin and this filling with the melanin will protect as a layer against the UVB radiation. So this is the dead skin which that is the keratinocytes containing keratin, mature keratinocytes which that is dead and filled with the uh, uh, melanin. So the tanning is the result of skin damage protection response. Let's understand further the less mel melanocytes genetically will lead to less protection and less darkening of the skin will, uh, will uh, show the fair color, the more white color. While the genes uh, dependent tanning can be possible, the gene dependent tanning means the genetic mutation. For example, more gene activation to produce melanin. Melano, mel mel melanin. While well, this is a protection against the nucleus, basically the nucleus contain DNA and in this way the tanning will uh, uh, protect the DNA in the nucleus. Aging is basically due to the UV radiation A and the vitamin D production is due to also the UV radiation A. While the UV radiation A is um, UVA light is not harmful too much as compared to the UVB. So the protect nucleus against the UVB can cause the skin cancer also. In this way the damaged DNA due to the mismatch, uh, mismatch unrepairment or mismatch of the DNA as well as the DNA break or other process the point mutation can be occur which that will lead to uncontrolled cell division due to the oncogenes activation due to the uh, oncogene oncogene inhibitor genes can be damaged will lead to cause uh, cancer while on the other hand the rashes the skin burns injury erythematosus this is a lot of skin disease can be possible due to the sunlight exposure. But in the case of the adaptation by environmental light factor will lead to uh, adaptation due to the black skin and evolutionary adaptation to increase the generation after generation the tanning more adaptation and in this way the adaptability as well as survivorship will be increased in the more more hot weather so side note for you is the brain is very sensitive part of the body plays a vital role a vital functional vital function to protect by the dense hairs to protect more from light if the if the color of the hairs will be black more so on the region wise people uh, contain more dark color of the hairs due to the protection against the uv radiation i hope you make sense about that if you like my video please make sure to subscribe like and share this video was about the tanning skin physiology and the protection against the uh, against the uv radiation thanks for watching bye